I get nervous when somebody takes out a gas mask. It makes me think of the end of the world in martial law. Here he is, the impenetrable matter squiggling. He is ready to be buried. Completely buried in broken glass, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm going to take out some of this glass and I'm going to show it to you. And I'll let you touch it so you know that it's not made of sugar and it's not made of plastic. This comes from many nights of drinking here at the Tiburino Museum. You will find out that it is real when it severs your optic nerve. Yes, everything we do on this show is real. Matter Squidling is now preparing himself to be completely buried in broken glass. All right, pour it on him. We got some more glass. Let's uh, pour some more glass on the guy. Can you all see this? Is this really happening? Okay, now I'm going to... Is Can I to have my job? <laughs> you want Brujo's job? All right. Now, could you pour a little bit more of that glass? Just push a little of the glass on his face. More glass! And Betty Bloomers. There you go. There you go. Now it's flattened. Betty, could you please step on him? Excuse me, Bruno. Oh, shit. You want to step on the man? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Betty Bloomers is going to step on Matter Squilling. Now try and step on his chest. Bruno is going to hold your hand. I saw Lucky looking. <laughs> Betty Bloomers, please step off Matter Squidling as you are squishing him. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, with your encouragement, Matter Squidling will emerge from the glass. But he cannot emerge from the glass unless he hears you screaming through his gas mask, through the coffin, and through the glass itself. I think he's starting to come out making me louder. Bleeding, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. He is on hard. <laughs> 